It's the grandson of right thought. So I got a question for my critics, my naysayers, my detractors. I got a question for y'all. Even y'all ones that's on the fence. By what power do I do what I do? In, in your estimation, by what power do I teach? Because some of you say, okay, yeah, that's the truth. Some of you say, no, that's not the truth. So you ones that are saying that it's not the truth, by whose power am I teaching this gospel? <laughs> because let's just face it. You can't do it. You can't do what I'm doing. You're not anointed to do what I'm doing. You can't preach the gospel with power like I can. You can't, you, you, you read in scriptures, you hearing scriptures you've never heard before when you hear me teach, it has happened. So by whose power am I doing that? Who granted me this power? <laughs> Did it just, was it an accident? Is it random that this is happening? And if I'm lying, then that means that I'm serving Satan, right? Or a deceiver, right? But none of y'all can convince me of sin. None of y'all can convince me of error in what I've taught you. None of you can. So then by whose power am I doing this? That's the question. <laughs> See, when Yahushua was teaching, they said he was doing it, doing it by the power of Beelzebub. And he had to explain to them, look, if Satan to fight against his own kingdom, then his kingdom cannot stand, right? Why would he fight to tear his own kingdom down? <laughs> like what you hear me doing. I am openly saying, I serve Abba Yah and his son, Yahusha. <laughs> and I fight against Satan, the adversary, the enemy, the liars, the deceivers, the whoremongers, the murderers, the thieves. That's who I'm fighting against. Now, if I am a liar myself, then how, why would I be fighting against my own people? <laughs> Why would I be fighting against my own master? You see why he said, I am a stumbling block to you niggas? <laughs> Do you understand what a stumbling block is? It's a snare. It's a trap stick. It's a trap. Something that's going to trip your ass up. That's what I am. That's why I'm offensive. You see why he said that? <laughs> that's why I offend you. Because... I, I'm a trap stick to people's heart ain't right. You see it? Because they can't deny what they're hearing is true. They can't deny it. Or else, why listen to me? That's my whole damn point. Why are y'all listening to me if you disagree with me? If you disagree, if you think I'm off, if you think I'm wrong, then why are y'all stalking me? <laughs> I don't ask you guys to subscribe. Do I? I don't ask you guys to do anything. Do I? So then, why are y'all following me or listening to what I have to say then if I'm a liar? Huh? Because I'm a trap stick. I force you to admit it. And so that's a trap to you. So you just get offended and wag your head. Don't you see how Abba did that? <laughs> that's why. It's a rock of offense. That's why you rejected that rock. The truth. You don't want the truth. Why? Because you made refuge. You made lies your refuge. Do you know what refuge means? <laughs> you see that? That's what y'all did. You made lies your refuge. So that's your high tower is a lie. Don't you understand that? Your safety net is a lie. That's what it's saying. 
Y'all niggas have made your safety net your your go to or your your safe spot a lie, nigga. So when you hear me speak, you're like, damn, I can't deny it. So uh, shit, what do I do? Well, I'll just get offended then. That's why I'm a rock of offense. Because like I said, if I don't serve Abiyah, if I'm not anointed by God, then how come I speak this message unlike you've ever heard it before? You've never heard it before. I teach things that are mysteries that you've never heard before. Like I told you guys about the grandson. You guys didn't know that. Like I told you guys with great detail who the branch was and what he would come to do. You guys hadn't heard that. Like I told you guys about the forgotten hidden son, Abel. You guys didn't know that. Just like I told you guys about Isaiah. You guys didn't know that. I'm telling you guys all this new stuff, but I'm not anointed by God to do so. Well, then who's giving me all the information? Who's taught me this? Who is my teacher? Now, it's already been bore witness that I have taught you guys. And like I said, I'll prove all things. If I have taught you something and you have eaten spiritually from what I have said, the words that I have said to you, and you have grown spiritually because of them, then put a proof in the comment section then. You can put a thumbs up. You can just straight up say it. You can do whatever you need to do, but let's give witnesses because out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. So it don't do no good for me just to say it. I need witnesses and I don't know who's going to comment. So if they do, then that means it's true. <laughs> if they do, then that means it's true. <laughs> Y'all hear that shit? <laughs> just like I said, I know you get offended and shit. But you have to admit that it's true. And then I told you, the guy that was humble enough to admit who he is, though he be a Gentile, came forward and said, yes, man, I was the same way. I got offended many times. That's what he said. But I had to learn how to grow up out of that. You see? Is that just true? I didn't make that man say that. He said it on his own. So once again, I'm proving all things. But you guys say I'm a liar. When the hell have a liar been able to prove a lie? <laughs> you can't prove lies, nigga. When there is a lie, there is no proof to be gained. There is no proof to be had. Because it's a, because it's a lie, which means it's a non-existent thing. It doesn't actually exist. Do lie? Is a lie a thing that exists? No. So then how in the hell can you prove it? You can't. You see why these niggas just say shit without proof? Like... Ah, you need you have a lot to learn grandson do I well then who's my teacher who's gonna teach me you you who claim I have a lot a lot to learn are you gonna be my teacher because it seems like you can't do shit it seems like you can't teach a damn thing because you don't have no proof that you can where are your records I have hundreds of records left behind me of what I've taught where are yours and if I need to learn some more, then who taught me all the stuff that I have taught? Pathetic. You see that? Pathetic. Because like I said, anybody who's answered this question and puts in the comment section, Satan or the devil, you're a fucking liar. Because the Satan is a liar. And he's the father of lies. So prove that I've lied to you. Prove it. Anything that I've said... Prove that I've lied to you about it. Well, you can't. So what the fuck that mean? That means I'm not I'm not of the father of lies then, doesn't it? That means I'm of the father of truth then, doesn't it? Oh, but I forgot. I've been sent into a dark, wicked, infested, gross, disgusting, degenerate, scum world who's going to hate me. For speaking this truth and be offended at me for speaking it. So then why would I be surprised that you guys are saying that if you do? <laughs> I don't expect a wicked world to be righteous. What did he say? Let the unclean be unclean. Let the clean be clean. Each man is going to work out his own salvation. I am telling you what I'm telling you so that your blood isn't on my hands. You see, all you Europeans that are going to pay for your daddy's sins, when it happens, it won't. your blood won't be on my hands because I, I'm telling you it. Even though I know it will offend you, 
I have enough empathy within myself to know that if somebody was telling me I'm going to die, I'm going to have to pay for, for blood, I'm going to have to pay for the sins of my father, I wouldn't want to hear that. I wouldn't rejoice in that either. But that doesn't mean that it's not true, my nigga. It doesn't mean that I should lie to you and instead say fanciful things that you would like me to say. Like, don't worry, everything's going to be all good. God is not going to make you guys pay for what you did. Well, that's an unrighteous God. So then that God you say you serve can't be the same God I serve. So like I'm asking you niggas right now, I'm going to put all of you to the test right to your fucking face. Who has granted me the authority and power to teach the way that I do? To speak with great vehemency the way that I do? Who has granted me that? Who has anointed me to do that? I drop a video. It doesn't matter what I'm talking about. There are scriptures after scriptures after scriptures confirming every sentence that I say to you. Now, some of y'all might just put my videos on and listen to the audio. Well, while the audio is playing, there are scriptures flashing on the screen you might want to be reading. And then if you're looking at those videos and hearing what I'm saying and looking at those scriptures, then you are saying he is actually saying every word off that page in his own unique way. But he's not lying. He's saying every word and they're just coming. Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament. I mean, they're just back to back to back to back to back. No matter what subject matter he talks about, he uses scriptures to confirm his words. He doesn't just talk words. He never does that. He always confirms what he says and he even shows us on the screen. He takes the time out of his day to chop it up, edit it up and get the scriptures, find them, put them in place. After he's dropped the message where he's just walking around through an abandoned building. Building. He doesn't know what scriptures is going to say. They just come out of him. And then he can, goes back and does the editing to put the scriptures there so that you can prove that what he's saying is out the scriptures. That's the reason he's showing you. But he's a liar. Since when does a liar bring all the facts to the table when he comes to speak to you? He brings records and proof. A liar doesn't fucking do that. <laughs> he can't prove his lie. So he won't have anything to confirm. And do you see niggas do that when they're just on the screen and they're just talking and they never prove what they're saying by scripture. They just talk. You see, of course, I would offend a liar. <laughs> do liars offend liars? Hmm, Interesting question, huh? Or does a truth teller offend a liar? What do y'all think? Because I can tell you what uh, what offends a truth teller and it ain't a truth teller. <laughs> I can tell you right now what the fuck will piss off a truth teller. It's a liar, my nigga. It's a liar. There is no law against telling the truth. Abiyah never said thou shall not tell the truth. But that's the God that you serve that tells you that you shall not tell the truth. You shall lie. I always prove it. The Roman way is that who is Edom, who serves Satan, that's their God that they serve. See, the Roman way is that if you deceive a person, then it is their fault if they got deceived. That's their way they, they live. Well, it's not my fault you let me deceive you. It's your fault for being deceived and being gullible. Don't you see that's how they are? Don't you see that's how those people get down? And don't you see, that's why Israel was destroyed, because they didn't have knowledge. They were ignorant. But now we have knowledge, and I'm proving it to you. And now you're offended at that. Well, I would be offended if I were you too, see? I told you, I'm no fool. I already know how you feel, so I know how to engage in war with you, my nigga. I am you. So I already know how to engage in war with you, because I've done it within myself. I was my greatest enemy. And I overcame that enemy. So what can you do to me? <laughs> what can you do to me? You can't craft on me. You can't deceive me or trick me. Why? Because I can't deceive or trick myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know what those things are. I can recognize what they are because I have been granted knowledge to see it. That's simple. 
So, of course, my enemies, like you guys, who are my detractors and critics and get mad at me and call me a racist and all this other bullshit. Look. What good is it going to do you to call me a racist? How does that help you? And, and, and let's just ask a question right back to you. A so-called Edomite calls me a racist. Why are you being racist, he says. Well, my question goes right back to you. Why are your people so fucking racist? Hmm? Why are you so fucking racist? Oh, no, I love everybody. Give me proof that you do. <laughs> Give me the proof that you love everybody by telling them the fucking truth. Then call me by my name. <laughs> Fuck that nigga or that gay ass nigga that y'all watch spinning down that fucking pole down the hill. Call me by my name. Then tell my people the truth then and prove it. But you won't. So then if you won't do that, then how the hell am I racist for telling you that you won't do it? <laughs> you fucking silly ass rabbits. This is child's play. You're fucking with a king over here and a high priest of the order of Melchizedek. So you just need to humble the fuck down like I told you guys. Because none of you can convince me of error. And if I'm not in error, then that means that I am in perfect truth then. Though you don't like it, well, I've already been told you won't. So then, <laughs> I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. And it seems you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. So don't try to act like we're all the fucking same. Because I wouldn't be doing what you're doing. I wouldn't be hearing the truth of the Bible being given with great clarity by someone with the proof so I can go to my own house and my own Bible and read those scriptures and see that what he's saying is true and then call him a racist. <laughs> I wouldn't do that because that would be me being a liar because he's not actually saying what he feels personally. He's telling me what God thinks about all of this. He's telling me what God's truth is about all of it and about all the people. So I'm calling him a name? That means I'm missing the whole fucking point, don't it? See how stupid you motherfuckers can be? See how a dog is? He's too stupid to be a man. That's why he's a fucking dog. He walks on all fours where he belongs. The Edomite is a cave beast. He belongs with the field animals. That's why he tried to trick you, Israel, and put you out there and call you cattle because he knows that's what he is. I told y'all this. You see how he's going to get offended at that? Don't be offended at your true place, doggy. You, you eat the crumbs that fall off my table when I'm done teaching Israel. That's what you're doing here. I'm sent to Israel. So all you white people, Indian people, Arab people, Chinese people, anybody else that's not black that's listening to me. You're here for some other reason, I guess, because I'm only sent to my people. But if you are here and you believe it, then that's good, too. <laughs> that's also good if you hear the truth and you bear witness you say yeah it's just true man i'm happy to be a grafted in branch i'm happy to be grafted in i know i'm not an israelite by birth but i know that i am by faith and i know i have to speak truth and love now in order to be an israelite because they were the ones told don't lie nobody else on earth was told this by god you see how y'all don't fucking understand shit you're too you're too dumb you're a dog you're too dumb. That's why you eat crumbs, bitch. You don't eat the whole fucking meal. You can't retain it. You can't receive it. It ain't for you. <laughs> Y'all don't get that? Y'all don't see how clear that is to see? It's not rude what I'm saying. It's just that you're receiving it such. And you're trying to label me with things that you say I am. Well, I'm not a racist. So I'm supposed to believe you because you say that I am? A doggy says that I am? I don't listen to dogs. I train dogs, bitch. I tell them bitches to fucking sit. That's what I do with a dog. I tell a dog to heal, bitch. That's what the fuck you do with a dog. You tell them go fetch. That's what you do with a dog. And when you eat your meal, if a couple of crumbs from your plate roll off on the ground, you let your dog eat it. And that's righteous. And that's why Christ said, how great is your faith to understand that? Because he knew it was true what she said. Anything that's true going to bear witness. And that's why he bore witness. He said, it's true. You accept it. Your place. 
which means when I'm serving up this meal to Israel, which is these teachings that I give, when they're eating, my people, when they're eating from my table, you dogs come and you're getting scraps that fall off the side. That's what it means. Because I'm sent. I'm not from here. I'm sent here. Just because you don't believe that don't mean it's not true. <laughs> it's just like my brother said. It doesn't matter how many people believe a lie. A lie is a lie. And it doesn't matter how many people don't believe the truth. Truth is the truth. Y'all didn't believe my father when he did what he did. So why would I think you'd believe me? I'm not greater than him. <laughs> if you believed me, then that means I'm greater than him. I'm not. He's greater than me. <laughs> you see? Grace is greater than judgment, guys. If y'all hear me, grace is, is better than judgment. I believe so. Don't you? Don't you think it's better to receive grace than to receive judgment? So then you see how Yahusha is better than me, Isaiah? He's greater than me. Grace is greater. Why y'all don't receive him? So y'all have to receive me. You have to. The rock of offense, if you don't believe on him, then what's going to happen to you? So that's why it's a trap stick. Because if your heart isn't right, you won't receive me. You can't. If you reject truth, you cannot receive me. You will fight against me tooth and nail to hide your lies. You'll tell me all kinds of things to deceive me so to get me off track. That shit ain't going to work. You're fucking with a lion and you're a dog. You can't knock a lion off his tracks. Okay? One swipe will break your fucking neck, man. <laughs> One roar and y'all bitches are scatter. And that's what happens when I raise my voice. Y'all can't do that. Because it wasn't given unto you to do it. I was sent here to do it. And I'm bearing witness and proving it all the time. And y'all just sit there all quiet and act like, no, no. Instead of saying, hey, whole wide world, share this shit. Share these videos. Why do I have to tell you to share them? Aren't y'all wise in your own? On your own? Don't y'all bear witness to the truth on your own? Well, you should be taking the messages saying, hey, listen to this shit. Listen to what this, listen to this. Listen to how he's breaking these scriptures down that I didn't never, never heard. Listen to the mysteries he's bringing up. Y'all don't want to do that because, oh, he said, fuck damn and bitch. But you'll go to watch Cat Williams and talk about he's a real one and he's telling all the truth and he's exposing the industry and he's fighting against the Illuminati, but he say bitch and motherfucker all day. But you'll listen, see the foolery of you niggas? You see how y'all is stupid as hell in this world? See how I offend you when I say that, even though it's the truth? Because like I said, when I walked along in darkness, I was stupid. That's how I can tell you that. I just tell the fucking truth. I was stupid, dumb as a fucking rock, naive, weak, jelly back, the fucking beta male, weak as hell, stupid, didn't know anything, completely gullible and uh, just a uh, go along to get along ass nigga. That's what I was when I was in the world, because that's what the world makes a nigga. Because it's not your world, my niggas, Israelites. It's not your world. It make you into that. So you have to come out of her, my people, and be a fucking man. Stand on your own two feet and become a king again. Like Joshua, you read about in the prophets who I am, who had the filthy garments on, which I just described. Stupidity, gullible, weak, jelly back, beta male. Those are the filthy garments, which were my iniquities that had to be cleansed from me. And now you don't hear iniquity or guile or fear, which is what beta males have. You don't hear fear. You hear alpha male. But see, I'm the omega part of the alpha and omega. I am the judgment part. I am the ending of Christ I am the finishing of Christ his work doesn't it say that after his enemies are subdued that Christ will set his feet on his footstool the beginning of Christ is him sitting in his throne isn't that what happens when you sit on the throne you sit down first and then you put your feet on your footstool second you don't put your feet on your footstool first and then sit down nigga see how that goes you see how that beauty of that wisdom how that do that but y'all, if y'all can't see, I'm sorry for y'all. Then go back to the church and listen to that nigga hoop and holler and don't give you no nourishment. You leave empty, depleted. You're still arguing with your woman. You're still weak. You're still a beta male. You females, you're still weak as hell. You're still insecure. You still don't know your worth because you won't listen to me. You won't listen to the truth. Simple as that. You won't listen to the grandson 
because you don't believe the grandson is the grandson. Y'all don't believe the grandson is sent from the Most High, y'all. Y'all don't believe that the branch is sent from the Most High. Well, I'm proving it in the scripture all the time that he is. And y'all don't have to believe it if you don't want to, because you'll find out eventually anyway. <laughs> if I haven't lied to you yet, then what makes you think I'm lying to you today? And what gain do I get from lying to you guys? I'm just trying to figure that out. I don't ask for subscribers. I don't ask you guys to like the shit. I don't ask you guys to go and do anything. I don't ask you guys to send me donations. I don't ask you guys to, to uh, do nothing. So what gain do I get from lying? Now, I have another question. If I'm talking to y'all, what gain do I get from telling you the truth? The approval of my father. So what worldly thing can you give me that's greater than the approval of my father? <laughs> if you can't hear that, then I'm sorry for you. Silawam.